Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel and in this video you will learn how to fine tune BERT based uncase model so that it can predict the genre of a movie provided a synopsis about the movie. So let's get started. Recently, Hugging Face has started a competition on movie genre prediction and I came across it. So I took part in that and <coughs> fortunately I am doing good in the public ladder board. You can see I am at the fourth position. So in this video I will show you my solution and what I have implemented. So let's get started. First let's see the data set. So you can download the data set from here and the link of this competition and data set is in the description. So here we have a movie name, a synopsis and genre of that movie. So I have already downloaded the data set. Now uh, the first step is to load the data set and clean the data set and then save the data set so that anytime we perform an experiment, we don't have to perform the data cleaning step. So here what I have done is load the data set. Uh, the data set is in Parquet format. So I have loaded the data set. Uh, for cleaning purpose, I have just uh, lowercase the strings and strip uh, any leading or trailing spaces. Also, I have done a small uh, formation uh, of a string that combines movie name and synopsis and I am doing the classification on this uh, final text which is combination of movie name and synopsis. I thought of doing that and it uh, gave good results. Then I am mapping the data set with that function. So each example will run over this function and it will save that and the cleaned data set will be saved to the disk into this uh, clean data uh, folder so that I can use it anytime I want to. So these are the few steps to clean the data. However, you can you know perform other steps here like uh, removing any punctuation, stop words, uh, removing spatial characters and things like that. But I for simplicity, I have done just two step lowercase and strip the spaces. Next. Uh, I'll run my trial. So for that, I need uh, to import few things. NumPy, pandas. Uh, I think uh, yeah, panda. I need to create a submission file, torch, uh, SQLN matrix from transformers. I am using auto tokenizer, auto model for sequence classification, trainer and training argument, and uh, load from disk from dataset. So I'll run this. Uh, I think my attempt is for now, so I'll do that as well. Now my clean data set is in clean data uh, folder. So I'll load that and I'll encode the class genre. So it will convert it to uh, string to int and we can anytime, you know, get int to string or string to int using this method. So let me run this. Yeah, and we can see that uh, the first training sample ID, movie name, uh, synopsis, uh, genre, which is number four and final text, which is uh, movie name and synopsis. So now I'll create my tokenizer and model. For that, I'll run this cell. So this will create auto tokenizer from pretain and auto model for sequence classification from pretain and I have that uh, is in here. Yeah, this is uh, BERT base uncased in case you want to download that. Uh, hugging face BERT base uncased. So from this link, you can download it, but I suggest you download all the required items like uh, config JSON, uh, PyTorch model, then tokenizer JSON, uh, tokenizer config and vocab text. 
separately because if you download using this url and git it will also download this uh, flex uh, tensorflow model and this model safe tensor and rust model which i think you don't need you only need this uh, pytorch model in case you want to go with tensorflow you only need this thing once uh, the model and tokenizer is uh, initialized what i'll do i'll get the max length of the sequence so that i can use it for padding so i'll do that meanwhile uh, what i do here is that i create a classification data set class where it has init method which requires data and tokenizer uh, then since this classification data set uh, needs three things in it length and get item in length i return the length in get item i receive the item id and based on that item id i get the final text generate and i create the input encodings uh, id and mask and i return a dictionary input id attention marks and label and obviously i need to convert them into tensor then i have a compute matrix which computes the accuracy score and in the training part i receive the data set and in data set i have train and test so i keep the test as it is and from train i split it into point 0.1 so point 0.9 is my training and point 0.1 is my validation so i generate my data set uh, train data set valid data set and test data set using the class uh, classification data set next i have these training arguments so i'm going with uh, epoch evolution strategy i'm saving the strategy and things like that these are some uh, parameters for my trainer so trainer will take model arguments training and evolution data set tokenizer and compute matrix uh, i run train method on the trainer once the training is finished uh, i can predict on test data set get the max argument and then create my submission file so this is my approach so let me run this as well and let me show you that it is working so let me run this yeah so it has started the training and on my uh, machine which has 6 gb of gpu it takes around uh, one and a half hour to run the full training and evolution and prediction so i guess this is it from my side uh, this code will also create a submission file like this and i have submitted around four um, four submission in my submission you can see that oh i need to provide the it's okay i'll not do that but on my on this competition's public ladder board you can see that i'm at the fourth position so yeah uh, i hope you like the video and the solution i have created for this competition the code i have used in this video is available on my github and the link for it is in the description of this video in case you download the code from my github please consider giving it a star that helps and if you like my work and what i'm doing on my youtube channel please consider subscribing to it it helps as well thank you for watching peace